and very rare uh, Buddha from Tibet. And this one is from the 12th to the 13th century. Just uh, to mention that the depiction shows Buddha uh, in the very moment of his enlightenment, um, which was uh, is supposed to have happened in northern India under uh, the Bodhi tree. And the Chidar is this transition uh, in, uh, of, of Buddhism from northern India to many, many other countries in the world. But when it comes to the uh, creation of statues, you can see uh, a lot of features that are actually typical for Indian uh, bronzes, statues from the Pala period, from the 11th, 12th century or earlier even. Very important to know about these early pieces is that they have a very specific surface. You can see here it's, it's very shiny because it's a specific alloy, which is absolutely impossible to imitate. It's a Tibetan piece. Although it has all these pala characteristics, it's two things. The first one is um, the base here, the lotus, is already very classic Tibetan style. The other thing also very important is here that the face is gilt. Uh, that's uh, also remnants here of blue pigment. The characteristics of pala pieces are these very thick beads here. The uh, fingernails here are all inlaid in copper. These features all would actually tell us that this is a pala piece, but as we know it isn't, it is simply uh, a very strong influence from pala sculpture. Finally, most important of all is that we have here uh, the small uh, Vajra incised, yeah, which is the testimonial to uh, the Enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. Uh, so this is what makes him Buddha Vajradhara. Um, we have here uh, some literature which helps us to, to distinguish it. We have here some Pala bronzes. Um, when we look at uh, uh, Buddhist statues from 100 years later in this book here, you see the same beads but you see that the lotus base already has these voluptuous areas here. It also compares very well with a statue sold by Sotheby's Hong Kong for 1.5 million uh, Hong Kong dollars, which is uh, roughly 200,000 euros in today's money. Uh, the figure, uh, this one here has 26, 27 centimeters. The one at um, Sotheby's, I think, has 29 centimeters, so they're pretty much the same size. They dated it 12th to 13th century, uh, which is also the same uh, period, so they're pretty much very similar.